Eddie and Zada, Precision Gun Reviews. We're here at SHOT Show 2014 with Line of Fire Grip System. It's me and Jimmy Taylor from Line of Fire. We're going to be talking about the line of gloves that they have for all your tactical shooting needs. What is your grip system and how does it work? What are your board up in my room. Sure, I'll kill off by. This is a glove, but it's also part of a grip system. And what makes it unique is this takes technology. This technology allows for a grip that's 170% better than leather on leather. So it really allows you to hold on to whatever it is that you need to hold on to. It tools your trade. Whether it be a firearm, a flashlight, a baton, anything along those lines, this is going to help you hold on to it. It's resistant to silt, sand, blood, water, the whole nine yards. Um, we have a series of gloves that we've integrated the TEGS technology into. Again, this is part A. So we have, these are mainly law enforcement and uh, military style gloves. We have everything from a very stripped down glove, which is the Scout. This is a Nomex glove. It's got the TEGS technology built in, digital goat skin leather. And there's nothing really on top of it other than the Nomex. We can get a little bit more aggressive with something along the lines of this, which is our operator glove. This has a vulcanized rubber grip. It's fire resistant, meaning it won't melt, but you know, you can, if you put a flame to it, you can see some uh, dam damage to it or change to it, but it won't melt on you. Cowhide leather, digital goat skin leather, and again, we have the tags integrated into the palm. Some of the newer gloves include the Wookiee. <laughs> yes, there are, some, there are some nerds that work here. Um, this is the Wookiee glove. It's a cold weather glove. This is a fire resistant wool, wool, excuse me. It's got the tags again integrated into the palm. Digital goat skin leather. This is uh, the latest and greatest. The thing about TEGS is it's rubber based, so you cannot repel with it. Well, we worked with some special operations folks and they came up with this, which is a fantastic idea. This is called the Roper. You can apply this over any of the gloves and you can repel with it. And when you're ready to jettison it, you just take off the Velcro strap, you pull it off here, and it's gone, and then you've got your tags and you've got your normal so glove. we have the tags marrying between these two pieces, is that correct? Yes. And then we have this to, that's? Yes, very cool. which allows you to repel and does not harm, does not ultimately harm the tags, which is, which is a good thing. Uh, I'll put this to the side right now. This is the Stealth. This is a stripped down glove. It's got the tags technology in it. It's got a little bit of a liner that allows for some warmth. It's like a fleece material. And this has got a checkered top that just allows for a little bit better wear over time. So again, the tags is uh, integrated into this. Most of our gloves are available in the, de the, the desert tan, the OD green, and also the black. So all of these gloves. This is a brand new glove as well, the Phantom. Again, keeping with that uh, nerd theme, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. This has silicon on the palm. The reason being is tags. We, we haven't found the way to make the tags adhere to this. Not yet. But this is cut resistant. It's not puncture resistant because you can't get through the pores and ultimately puncture your hand through it. But again, it's a very interesting, uh, cool looking glove. Now this glove. is interesting. A lot of the gloves have this. What is this a self-defense? In some cases, sure. Some guys like that, especially on something like this. It protects your knuckles, so you don't get your knuckles all thrashed out. Whatever it may be. On something like this, this is an extraction glove. This is called the Striker. This is Kevlar. It's got the four-way stretch Kevlar, normal Kevlar, and it's got these aggressive bullets. Again, we've got the tech techno technology, but when you're breaching something, your hand doesn't get tore up. So that's right. the whole plan behind that and these knuckles. I know with some law enforcement folks, they can't go that route. That's why we have options like this as well for those types of gloves. Um, what else? We talked about the tags. 
How do these range in price? Is it is the wide low range? Typically, the lower, the, the more stripped down the glove, the, the, the less expensive it is. So something like the Light Duty runs about $80, $85. Don't quote me on that. It is a, that's retail on our website. And you get up to like the Extraction Glove, the Kevlar Glove. This is closer to $200. I believe it's $175 or in that neighborhood. Now for credential law enforcement and military folks, they can go to GovX.com and they can get these they can get in and buy these products at a discount. And we are currently working on expanding our dealer and distributor network. So we expect that you'll be seeing these not only online on different websites this year, coming up this year, but you'll see them also in stores in your, in your local neighborhood. One more thing I want to touch on, um, besides the tags, and that being a real cutting edge part of the glove or what really gives us something unique about the gloves. Uh, most of these gloves are available in touch screen. And it's not a piece of leather on the tip, it's actually built into the material or it's, it's, it's tumbled into the material. So uh, the, the operator, the point man, the light duty, all these gloves are available in um, touch screen as well. And one last thing, besides the touch, touch screen, besides the tags technology, we've gotten a lot of compliments about the wear and tear on the gloves. We have a lot of these over in the theater. We have a lot of guys that have worn them, special forces and otherwise, law enforcement folks, and we've got tremendous compliments on how well so they're also good. Absolutely. And do you, thank you. What we're going to do is I'm going to put a glove on and we're going to do a special test that they have set up to show you just how strong that tags grip is. So we're looking at the tags system. What is that tag system? So it's, it's, it's a tech, tech filing um, enhanced grip. So tactically enhanced grip. So it's part of the component system. You have one component A is the glove, and B, the component is uh, the equipment you have to get the grip on. So for the demonstration, we're going to go naked in the, in the, in the hand. Very easy turn with a, a gun pressure. Okay, grip. Yep. We're going to roll it over. So this would be, once again, normal pressure for your gun. And you definitely get more grip, but it can still be moved, correct? Okay. Come across the glove, and it, it gives you a grip, but it, I can move it. Okay, yep. now we go to tag on tag. And now I can really crank on that thing. <laughs> it, it is not moving. Great. I feel like we should like do a strongman competition. You get like three of your guys and just one of me. <laughs> it's it's amazing grip. Really yeah, it's and really it really locks in. It interlocks into the two components as they fit together. It's almost like a like a, a Velcro idea, but it's it's oh, not adhesive. Yeah. yeah. To separate the surgeon take that the pressure. So how much does a system like this go for? The the grips themselves when they come a made for the gun at twenty five dollars and the glove prices I have to get from yeah. the guys at uh, line of fire. So very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. The text grips at talent grips.